Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. How can you give Baba a car that Auntie rejected? Stop trying to use money to buy love. Resell your car and put your money in your pocket. No matter what you do, nobody is going to appreciate. It is rumored that this was what Auntie Blow Blow told Auntie E.B. when she was crying over the rejection of the car that she, gave, that she um, gifted um, Auntie for her birthday and the woman uh, rejected the car. Now, um, there was this rumor that made the rounds on social media that um, um, uh, Auntie Igby had bought a very beautiful 2020 um, Toyota Avalon. Some people were saying Toyota Avalon, some people were saying Toyota Avensis for um, um, the sister to the owner of Ife. Now, the sister to the owner of Ife is, uh, I think, Auntie Afolasha. I don't know. I'm sorry. I may not be getting that name right. I think it's Ashley that is Afolasha. I don't know if her own name is Afolasha something. The tall, beautiful one, owner of Ife's sister, that one that they say is very quiet, the one who was trying to, according to what we heard, though, you know that me, anyhow, I hear it is how I bring it. Some of you, when I talk, you get angry. I don't know if you want me to hear something good. I paint it to, to bad. I heard that during, you know, um, the fight between oh, um, um, uh, um, Ashley and um, Naomi those days, and, uh, you know, they were hard at the basketball. This senior one, the one who just celebrated her birthday, was the one who was trying to push, push the, the relationship while the other two, they were, <laughs> they were, those two were scattering and she was trying to push it. That was what I heard, okay? This is my own source, like what I heard alleged okay and so um uh, they say she's very kind and she's very very um what will i say they say she's the quiet one okay and so they said that um um antique had uh, bought a car for her birthday and she rejected the car and because antique didn't want to go back with the car that she brought into um the royal household antique decided to take the car to baba so a lot of people think that that is disrespectful but well i don't know how you think um, um uh, what do you think about that do you really think that was a disrespect whatever you think please put it down in the comment section you know um our thought process is not the same, okay? A, a brand new 2020 um, Toyota Camry, I mean, um, Avalon to, Toyota something, um, because this woman rejected it, and the excuse she gave for rejecting the car was that the brother just bought her a new car, and she has three other cars that are packed that she's not using, that she doesn't need this car, that um, Antiquity should give it to somebody that will appreciate it, that will need it, that will put it in a good um, into a good use. And it's not as if she vehemently said, no, 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 take your car, take your car. I'm not taking, no, she did it in a very respectful way from what we are hearing, the rumor that we are hearing. And so they said this did not go well with Antique B and that she cried and cried and cried so much. And not like she cried when the woman rejected it. They said when she came back home, she felt very bad. They drove the car to come and park in her garage. And now they said now what she did was to carry the car she decided to go and give the car to Parupo. And um, Parupo happens to be the father to the owner of Ife. And so they said Parupo also rejected the car. Okay. That is the alleged information we are hearing. And that made her, she felt so bad. And so they say, Blue Blue was telling her that, why do you feel the need? Why do you think that you can use, you know, money to buy love for yourself? That take the car, sell it and put the money back in your pocket. No matter what you do, nobody's paying to appreciate it because they only look at the wrong and they do not look at the beauty that is in a person and that you have to understand that money cannot buy love the truth remains that we are pushing as hard as we can push but we must recognize the fact that Kabye is in love with Naomi and the family will support him because his heart is with Naomi and I say Bala are you for real when I got that information I don't know if that information is true or right, but for me, I think that um, just the realization that um, KBSC really loved Queen Naomi and they may never succeed no matter how much they push is something that just um, um, it, 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 it brings a lot of fresh air to me uh, because I feel like that is the realization that has been lacking the entire time. I, I think, you know, when people are doing stuff and they keep thinking that their own will work, their own will work. Once people 
begin to realize that it's going to forever be exercised in futility, they may want to retrace their step and begin to do something that is right. So as we heard this allegedly, no be, no be me talkingly, as it is um, reported that um, Baba rejected the car also, and that has made her to feel really, really bad. But you know something about if this information that we are hearing is true, if the information is really true, you would know that. You know something about us? Sometimes, uh, do you know that rich people give stuff to rich people? <laughs> That is the irony of life. Oh. Rich people will always, you know, give stuff to fellow rich people. Now, I know that there are a lot of people in Antiquis family that would jump, that that car would be their, you know, um, um, answers to prayers if um, a car like that is given to them. Uh, but then she would choose to give it to, you know, fellow rich people. And that is if this information is correct, okay? And so now um, we are hearing that the fact that Baba rejected that in, um, car really ruined her day. And uh, uh, she was very, very upset. She's been very, very upset. Um, apparently she is seeing that, um, you know, things are not um where they they, they they used to be she's seeing that right now there is a collective effort to just get Queen Ami back in the palace and to put them where they should be and you know and that is not something and you know that the fight for the palace is um um, a, a very serious fight for some of these Oloris, if the information we are getting is the truth, um, um, they, 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 they would give everything in this world to win that fight. It has become something that has to do with, you know, um, self-esteem and pride, like who wins at the end of the day, because you know, these are people who, uh, people have said a lot of things about Queen Naomi. They have said she didn't go to school. They have say, say she is, um, um, she's is she got no pedigree. They have said, and uh, what do, she's just an evangelist. Uh, she is this, she's that. The only thing that Queen Naomi has is fine face. That is what they say. But nobody says she's got something upstairs. And nobody says she 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 has got very very beautiful virtue, and nobody sees those things like the 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 beauty that lies beneath um the deepest part of you know Queen Naomi's pain. Okay, and so um right now the thing is that how can she come and win this fight? She's got no pedigree. She's not from a royal home. She's not, um, um, she didn't go to Harvard University and she didn't go to Oxford University and she didn't do this, she didn't do that. How can she win this fight? She can never win it. Let's just keep trying because there is a possibility that we can still win. And so right now, this is a fight that um, um, is um, being fed by, you know, ego and pride. And um, uh, people want to see that they win Queen Naomi. They want to measure this fight by, you know, their educational qualification, measure the fight by their pedigree, measure the fight fight by, you know, their level of exposure. Queen Naomi has got exposure. She may not be as exposed as they are. Like, she may not have traveled to all the places in the world. Like, a lot of these women have gone brown, like so many countries she may not have gone but she has gone to so many countries as well and you know in terms of intelligence i don't know if any other person can measure her i don't know i think maybe i don't know i do know that timmy Tokwa is a very brilliant woman i do know that ashley is a very brilliant woman but i don't know if any of them can measure up to queen naomi and so life is not all about pedigree life is not all about um, um, ed, um ed, 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 your university and all of that i think that people need to begin to understand that when it comes to love love any a, a man can love a woman from you know the 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 where yeah. From any part, a man can decide to love a woman who is from the lowest, lowest part of the world, or uh, you know, love a woman in her lowest ebb. Yes, a man can still love. So, love has got nothing to do with education. Love has got nothing to do with pedigree. Love has got nothing to do. And in all of this, you need to understand, and people need to understand that 
Quinami can measure up by all ramification. Yes, right now she's in school. How many people can stand and, you know, address and talk to people the way Queen Naomi talks to people? So the good thing is that by the end of this year, I think she's finishing that program, the international relations, so that everybody can just, people can just, yeah, yes, BSC is BSC, okay? And so we can stop hearing she didn't go to school, she didn't go to school. Let us see what's going on. But they say, um, Auntie, if we cried so much as Baba rejected the I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.